Hello everyone, welcome back to the bright and cheerful world of the Cat Lady. I just feel happier just for playing this game. My spirits are just uplifted. Ah. Let's and see what's let's see what's inside of these rotting putrescent chemical filled bathtubs. Is this where they wash? This water looks very odd, like a mixture of dirt, melted fat, and petrol. What the hell is it? <laughs> There's a lawnmower inside of one of them, what the hell? What is it doing in the bath? It's all rusted and covered in slime. Is that a body? I just realized that's a body, isn't it? Um, I don't know if I want to look. Go. Oh, there's something down there. That's a head. Ew. The water is absolutely disgusting. The smell alone makes me wretch. Ugh. Let's do it again. Ew. Let's do it. No, let's not do it again. Uh, let's drain it. Well, hold on. Wait, where's the key? There's no way I'm putting my hand in the water. Okay, yeah. To get the key, I would have to touch this person, too. I've seen many dead bodies in my life, but this one is definitely the creepiest of them all. Let's drain it. There's no way I'm putting my hand in the water. Okay, um... Besides, it seems like the plug is right underneath the dead man's hand. Maybe I can use the cat grabber to get it? Wait, actually, can I? <laughs> yeah, maybe I can. Here we go. Got it. Alright, so now I have a key, but to what? It looks like a car key. Oh, sweet. Wait a minute. Wait, why would he have a spare car key? Does that mean they stole the, the van? And that's the- this is the body of one of the drivers? I don't know. Shed. It's a garden shed. I really don't like the look of it. Let's peek in. Oh, God. I'm glad I peeked in. Ew. Well, at least I know where she is now. But, girl, what the fuck is she even cutting? I don't know if I want to know what that is. Look around the room. Piles of meat. Could it be human, too? I could probably find something useful on those shelves. But first, I need her to go away. Stay and watch. Okay, let's stop watching. Yeah, I've had enough. I'm good. Alright, there's a couple things we can do now. And I gotta remember, I can hide under the table. I can hide under the table. I can hide under the table. Gotta remember that. Because I'm going to have to. I have no doubt. If a game gives you the option to hide, you're going to need to. That's kind of how it works. Um, I haven't been upstairs yet, have I? Yeah, there's so many places to go. Okay, uh, let's first take out the bulb. Using this cloth. Excellent. Alright, then let's go check out the car. There we go. Search the back of the van. Jesus. What a horrible stench. But what's this? It seems this idiot does everything his creepy wifey from hell tells him to. He brought his gas mask here. I'll take it. He won't need it ever again when I'm done here. No, he won't. Alright, this will allow me to make the mixture safely without worrying about... ...getting affected by it myself. In fact, let's just put it on right now. I don't need to put it on right now. Damn it! I want to look all badass. Okay, there's time for that later. Wait, is, is the whole thing just unlocked now? Yeah, the key's gone. The door's locked. Uh... Can't... 
Can I open it? Um, are you serious? Is there like some, is there like a divider between the back and the front? The key disappeared, so that means it's only for the back. Okay, but why can't I just crawl into the front from the back? Maybe there's a divider inside, but why would there be? And anyway, if there is, at least let me know that. As it is, it makes no sense. Anyway, I think maybe I just need to bash the window open. And I can probably get a brick by using the knife, I'm guessing. Yeah, okay. Oh, that wasn't as loud as I thought it would be. No keys in the ignition. I'll have to find another way. Well, it's okay. I was looking for the phone anyway. Alright. What can I do with this? I hate mobile phones. I've never had one myself. But right now, it might be useful. The battery is fully charged. All I have to do is to dial a number. Right, but who do I dial? Answer it! No one's calling. Damn. Make a call. Hmm. Should I call the police? Hang up. Let's look around first. I could try. I could try. I could. I mean, as far as I know, no one else is in immediate danger here, so it's not necessarily a bad idea. Unlike at Dr. X's place, where he was about to murder someone, so I couldn't really wait. But before I do that... Oh, need to take this one too. Yeah, I gotta check out over here and go upstairs. At least now I know there's no one upstairs. Ah. <sighs> it's a whole new world when you can see. This, the books look like they haven't been touched for a long time. Maybe they've been left here by the previous owners. What's that? An old phone book. That could be useful. But I'm not sure whose number to look for. It's not like I have any friends that I could call for help. Let's check it. It's from ten years ago. Still, I don't know what to look for. Yeah, we'll come back. Come back to that. A phone. An old phone. It looks like it's still working. There's a sticker with the number on the base. Uh, should I write that down? I don't know. I guess I will. Okay. Alright, so you can do the same thing here. What if you call your own number? What? Actually, what does that do? I've never called my own number on a phone. Let's try it. It's pointless. It must be this phone's number. Right, it's busy. Okay. Uh, can I go upstairs? No. I apparently can't go upstairs, even though there's a spiral staircase right here. Alright. Upstairs it is. There are only bedrooms up there. I should better stick to the ground floor for now. Okay. So I need to do something with what I have right now. And why do I have a painting? I still don't know why I have it. 
the hell are you supposed to do with a painting? Alright, well I still don't have all the stuff for my little chemical mixture. That's gonna kill the dude. Um, I think I need to get her to leave. What if I just call the police though? Hold on, let me save. Let's call the flat. Oh no. No, no, no. Damn it. I can't remember my own number. <laughs> I've got it written down somewhere at home, but I hardly ever use it. Okay, would you be in the phone book? Let's go find out. I'm not exactly sure what calling my own flat would accomplish. I could talk to Mitzi, but what's that going to do? I don't exactly want to bring her into this. My number's here. I better memorize it. It might come in handy. Alright, now let's try it. Come on, Mitzi. Answer the phone. Hello? Oh, thank God. Finally. Mitzi, it's me. I need your help. What's happened? Where are you, Miss Ashworth? Hmm. <laughs> I've been kidnapped by some psychopaths, or you have to call the police, but I could have called the police myself. I, again, I'm not exactly sure what she's going to do. I'll just tell her the truth, I guess. I've been kidnapped by some psychopaths. What? How did that happen? You only went downstairs to check on the cats. Look, it doesn't matter. I'll explain everything later. These people are maniacs. They're killers. It's either me or them. I have no choice. I've found some bleach. It reminded me of this gas you were talking about. I could get rid of one of them with that gas and get a hold of a gun. You said it was fairly easy. Miss Ashworth, no, you can't. Listen to me. This guy is a fucking murderer. He's nothing but a parasite. No one will miss him. Trust me. And I could really do with a gun here, you know? I... but... I could just tell her to call the police. I wonder what that would actually do. Could I avoid killing them? I mean, again, I don't... No one else seems to be in immediate danger. I think I should just call the police. I'm gonna go with that. You have to call the police. Yes, of course, I will, Miss Ashworth. But, wait. What should I tell them? Do you know where you are? No idea. Out of town? Somewhere? Have you tried talking to the police yourself? No, not yet. You're right. I should try that. I'm just not sure if they will believe me. Alright, what's the other chemical? What's the other chemical, Mitzi? Tell me! Now! Okay, fine, I'll tell you. It's no rocket science. You just need some pesticide. Pesticide? Didn't you say it is something everyone's got at home? Well, you wouldn't use it. You live in a flat high above the ground. It's for people who own houses. Or like... Mansions? You can pick up these things at any supermarket anyway. Fine. What do I do with it? Just mix bleach and the pesticide together. Make sure there isn't much ventilation. And wear some protection. A gas mask or something, yeah? Right. Bleach. Pesticide. Got it. And a gas mask. Got it? Yep. Thanks. Alright, thank you for the guide on murdering people, Mitzi. Have a good night. Go back to sleep. Didn't mean to wake you. Okay. Thanks. Wish me luck. Be careful, Miss Ashworth. I'll be fine. I'm a tough old girl. This will be like a walk in the park. Wow, Mitzi's so casual about it. She barely even sounded alarmed. Alright, pesticides. Well, it just so happens they're a pest control company or something. Or at least they stole pest control stuff. I don't really know. 
But anyway, it shouldn't be too hard to find. Alright. I need to get her out. What if I just call the phone? I don't, I'm not sure if you'd hear it, but... Hold on, where's the table I can hide under? Was it over here? No. I think I should just get near the table and call the number. She'd have to have pretty damn good hearing to hear it inside of the mansion from all the way out there while she's chopping up kittens or whatever the hell she's doing. But maybe? Alright, let's save it first. It's definitely a save sort of situation. Alright. Or, well, I mean, I could call the police. Yeah, let's try that. Emergency line. How can I help you? My name is Susan Ashworth. I've been kidnapped. These people are crazy! They're going to eat me alive! I don't know what to do. Please, you've got to help me. Please. What's your home address and postcode, ma'am? Excuse me? What? It's irrelevant! I've been kidnapped! I'm not there! I'm afraid I need your home address to confirm your identity, Miss Ashworth. It's flat 412 Helen Street, EX4422DL, okay? Now please, do something, for God's sake! Calm down, ma'am. Who's kidnapped you? I don't know who they are. They didn't tell me their names. No, but wait, he's an animal control guy drives a white van. He's got a wife. She poured bleach down my face. Bitch. They're, they're just mad. Won't stop at nothing. I'd run away, but there's this fog, and I have no idea where we are. Susan, Susan, that's not gonna work. What the you hell? You have been kidnapped by a married couple, is that correct? No, not just any married couple. Don't you understand what I'm saying? These people are fucking serial killers. There's blood and bones everywhere. I mean, some of it is cat's blood, but there's human blood too. I told you, they eat stray cats and dogs, and they eat people. They're sick. They make me sick. Is this a case of family disturbance, Mom? What? No! Did you know this married couple prior to the incident? Are you related? Jesus, did I say anything at all that would make you think that? Calm down, please. I'm only trying to help you, Mom. I need to establish some facts first before a police car can be dispatched. Look, just track this number and you'll find where I am. You can do that, yeah? They always do it on films. I bet you've got my number displayed on the screen already. Just do me a favor and send a police car, will you? Of course, Mom. Stay on the line. Oh, did you witness cruelty to animals? What? You mentioned cat's blood. Was this married couple cruel to animals? If so, I will put you through to Animal Welfare Services for this area. Would you prefer that, Mom? Are you joking? No, I would not. Okay, please hold the line. Hello? Miss Ashworth, uh, are you still there? Yes, of course I'm still here. According to our records, you've recently discharged yourself from the hospital. 
Are you currently undergoing treatment for any mental health problems? No, it's not like that. Miss Ashworth, please listen to me very carefully. I can connect you with the on-duty doctor at the RCW Hospital's mental health unit where you received care recently. They can help you. You just have to talk to them and explain what's on your mind. I'm not fucking crazy. So, that's it. You're just not going to help me. We are not qualified to provide psychiatric help, ma'am. It's best if you contact your doctors. Would you like me to give you their number in case you'd prefer to call them yourself? Oh, don't bother. I'll take care of it myself. Thanks for nothing. Goodbye. Wow, I'm... I'm stuck between two minds with that. I don't know whether I should find that funny or just really, really insulting. Look, I've never called the police. And I imagine if you have a history of psychiatric problems on your record, then that could maybe influence how they would perceive you, possibly. Assuming they would even look that up before they even tried to give you help, but... That was, like, comically stupid. No police would ever act that way. Or you know, dispatch or whatever. Nobody would ever respond that way to somebody calling the police. Ever. That's complete bullshit. To think that they would be that dismissive is just... fucking ludicrous. It's... It's so, so wrong that I'm not sure whether it's funny or just insulting. I don't really know what to make of that, but that was... comical. Just, no. I'm pretty sure it doesn't work that way. Alright. Let's call the home. Okay, there we go. We need to hide. <laughs> she moves like a fucking zombie. What the hell? Who walks like that? The hell is wrong with her? I guess I should move fast and then get back under the table, probably. Yeah, let's move. Ew. Oh, there's pesticide. Let's take it and get the... Let's get back under the table. In fact, I should probably save it again. Oops. Can't say save 19. I've already established a pattern here. There's nothing else here, right? No. Uh. Um. I wasn't too slow. What? Am I dead? Well, shit. <laughs> well, wait a minute, does it actually undo anything? No, that's right, I'm in invulnerable. Huh. I don't even really need to load my save game, do I? Not really. What was I supposed to do there, though? Like, I don't think I really could have gone any faster, for the most part. It's slightly faster, but... Uh, I don't know. Maybe that was supposed to happen? 
Not that it matters. I think it's time to get to work. Not quite yet, though. Hold on, there's one more thing to do. It's a bit too drafty down there. I need to... Oops, wait, this is not the right way. No. I need to cover up the hole, probably with the piece of cloth that I have. I'm guessing. There we go, maybe... I have no idea how to use it here. Uh, the painting? I should stop the draft in the cellar. Excellent. Okay. Now, back down. And we're gonna have a little bit of fun. All right. Let's pop this on. Looking like a badass. Gonna kill you in silence. I'm probably gonna kill you in your sleep. And then I'm gonna go shoot her. Pour a little bit of this. Mix a little bit of that with this, and you have a delicious beverage. Enjoy. No, not here? What do you mean? Here? There we go. Enjoy your death. <laughs> it sounds like he just turned into water when he hit the ground. <laughs> what was that wet noise? Oh, stay the fuck down. All right, I got a gun now. Shall I go pay the meat lady a visit? I think I shall. I'm coming for you. Where did she go? Where the hell did she go? Ah! Hold the left thing to pull the trigger. That's a weird gameplay mechanic to suddenly introduce, but I shall oblige. Chapter 5 Some flowers never bend towards the sun. Miss Ashworth, I was worried sick about you. 
Are you all right? How did you get back? I walked. You saw something terrible in that fog, didn't you? I saw a monster. I think I could use a shower at this point. Yeah, I could probably use one. <laughs> Actually, how about a bath? I guess I deserve a long, hot bath. Yes, you do. I think everybody deserves a long, hot bath after they get kidnapped and... killed twice by a murderous animal-eating couple. Miss Ashworth, I need to ask you something. Can I come in? I'm in the bath. Is it something important? Yes, very important. The fate of the world depends on it. <laughs> um... <laughs> is the second option you can come in if you promise you're not a lesbian? <laughs> what? <laughs> what the hell? I... whatever, I don't care. You can come in if you promise you're not a lesbian. <laughs> a lesbian? I told you I had a boyfriend, Miss A. Both girls shouldn't get embarrassed of each other. Where do you get ideas like that? I don't know. It seems everyone is gay these days. What? Now, that's okay with me. Don't get me wrong. But I don't necessarily want a lesbian to stare at my boobs, if you know what I mean. Miss A, if I want to stare at some boobs, I'll take my top off and look in the mirror. Right. Come in then. I'm cooking up some pancakes. What do you like on yours? We've got strawberry jam, maple syrup, and chocolate spread. It, and that's why you... Could you ask that at the door? Um... Oh, nice! I like pancakes. I'll have one of each. Oh. Nice. I like pancakes. I'll have one of each. Oh no, you'll have two of each. I made so many that'd be enough for an army. I don't really eat much. That's because you haven't tried my pancakes yet. And if you don't leave me alone now, I never will. But really? Why? I can smell something funny. I think your pancakes are burning. I'm so full up. Where did you learn to cook like that? My dad taught me. He was the king of pancakes. I'll wash up, if you like. I can do that. I like washing up. You do? Really? Really. I'm a good girl. And this is my treat for you, after all. Looks like we've got the rain back. I almost felt like something was missing. Do you think it will ever stop? I mean, what if it doesn't? And it will rain for a million years. I'm not sure I get it. What's the point of that? What did you say it was called again? For the third time. Social network. Why is it so difficult to remember? I just find the whole idea really stupid. Why would I want to tell people that I'm having a shit day? So maybe you would feel better for sharing it with your friends. But I don't have any friends. No, you wouldn't with this attitude. You, on the other hand, seem to have 274 of them. How is that even possible? Well, what can I say? I'm very likable. Wow, that's pretty cool. So, 
They come every time you play the piano. Yeah, I don't really play that often. Mostly when I feel really sad. Maybe I actually play more often than I thought. You sado. I know a song written just for you. Remind me to play it to you sometimes. It'll cheer you up. It's called All Flowers in Time Bend Towards the Sun. Flowers, yeah. Of course they do. Do you know it? It's written by Jeff Buckley. He would have been bigger than Cobain, you know. I never heard of him. No, I probably didn't. He drowned in Mississippi when he was only young. I've created a profile for you. Maybe now you'll learn how to use it. What am I going to do with it? Just look for people you know. Invite them. Talk to them. It's a good way to keep in touch. Maybe you could refresh some old friendships? I don't know. I can't think of any names. I probably never really cared enough about anybody. How about people you went to school with? Your old colleagues from work? Nope. Friends. Zero. At least they're right about one thing. I'll add you later. That'll be a start. I made us some coffee. Sit down and talk to me for a moment. I'm having a bad day. Could do with some company. Sure. Coffee sounds great. Surprisingly, after the murderous animal-eating couple, she Susan actually seems to be doing pretty well. Which is surprising. She actually seems almost happy. How strange. What's wrong, Mitzi? Well, I'm not sure how to get started with this thing. I've been thinking about it the last few days and I just don't seem to get any good ideas. Maybe I've been a fool all along, eluding myself that I could find where that sick bastard is hiding. Maybe I can help you. I have lots of free time, you know? Last night, I made this, well, map. I made a map. This is our building, all four floors. There are two flats on each floor. You really want to help me? That's so great, Miss A. How will I ever pay you back for this? I'll think about it later. But we haven't found him yet, have we? No, but I feel that together we stand a chance. So, let's talk about it. What do we know already? All right, let's see. Well, we know about that rude, bald guy. I know that rude, bald guy lives in flat six. I told you about him, didn't I? I think so. It's that guy who came complaining about the noise, right? Right. That's Brian Palmer. Let's mark him on the map. What else do you know about him? Not much. Wait. I remember some woman lived there with him. I've not seen her for ages. They must have split up. Could he be our potential suspect? Hmm. I mean, why cross anybody off the list at this point? Sure. Yeah, I suppose so. Think so. Okay. Let's 
take a closer look at him then. Well, we can certainly cross off our flat, of course. We can cross off our flat, of course. Yep, good. That leaves us with only seven flats. Also, there's an old man in flat five, right opposite the Brian's place. I'm pretty sure one of the flats is empty. Hmm. Which one? I think it's the one on the first floor. Empty? Hmm. Sometimes I hear a dog barking on floor one. First floor? Where well, you said one of the flats was empty. Yes. Which means the owner of the other flat keeps a dog. I hate dogs. <laughs> Tell me about it. Noisy, smelly creatures. Can you imagine the eye of Adam being a dog lover? Can't see why not. In that case, it might be worth looking into. There's an odd married couple that lives next door. Yeah? What do you know about them? Well, the man is called Joe Davis. He seems nice, quiet type. But I heard him shouting a couple of times, and he sounded almost like a different person. Like a madman, you know? I gather they must have some serious relationship problems, and they're trying to sort them out behind closed doors. It's impossible to hide this personal dirt from your neighbours. I know it's none of my business, but I can't just plug my ears and pretend I don't hear what's going on there. And the wife? Ivy Davis. Or is it Sophie? I can't remember now. Anyway, she's very polite. Always says hello when we pass by each other in the hall. She's one of those size double zero ladies. So skinny you could easily take her for a coat rack. A walking skeleton. I bet she only eats a leaf of lettuce a day, <laughs> or nothing at all. She looks quite ill, actually. Anything else? They used to have a cat, Lucifer. I often wonder what happened to the poor little chap. There are strange noises coming from flat seven. Interesting. What kind of noises? Like screaming? Explosions, guns, then there are threats and insults shouted very loudly at someone. Hmm. I think I might know what's going on there, but it's worth checking anyway. Do you know the person who lives in that flat? No, I don't. It's the top floor. I have no business going up there. All I know is what I overheard from neighbors' gossips. Yeah, flat number seven sounds like it's people playing video games and getting really passionate about it. There's a woman with a baby living upstairs. Her husband? I'm not sure. I hardly ever see her. When I do, it's usually in the hall. When she's pushing a pram with a baby inside, she always has tons of shopping hanging from it. I nearly asked her once if she needed help to carry it upstairs. And? I hesitated for a moment, and by the time I offered, she grabbed the baby and the shopping bags and marched off upstairs. Okay, I think that's all that we know at the moment. This reminds me, I found an old baby pram in my bedroom, among all the stuff. Do you have kids, Miss Ashworth? You never talk about it. Oh. She did have a husband. Did they have a baby? And something happened to it? Why do you want to know? I'm just curious. I like meeting new people and getting to know them. I can tell there's some dark secret you've been keeping to yourself for a long time. You might feel so much better if you share it with someone.
Yeah, Susan obviously does not want to talk about it. Alright, well, if the top one's super aggressive, the second one is obviously not true. You don't want to know about my problems. Obviously she does. Let's go with the third one. Let's just drink our coffee, yeah? I just really want us to be friends. I swear to God I could do with one. I'm not very good at friendships. I thought that was rather obvious. Friends should trust each other, you know. I told you about Jack and everything else. Why can't you just do the same? You told me about Jack because you wanted to. I didn't force you, did I? My private stuff is nobody else's business. Why does everyone want to remind me of this all of a sudden? Isn't ten terrible years of suffering enough to let go and never bring it up again? Even... Even for me? Ashworth, I, I'm so sorry. Your mug, it was an accident. You know, just leave it. I don't even care anymore. Who the hell is that? Hold on. Better save it first. Who is it? Flowers. What... What's that in your other hand? Go away. Leave me alone. What in the hell? Oh, I'm actually in control now, aren't I? Uh, yeah, let's keep walking backwards. Where am I gonna go? Not to the balcony. Where the hell am I now? I'm on, I'm on a boat, aren't I? Or on the docks. Okay, I'm invulnerable. Mitzi isn't. Was that the guy? Did he find her? Or is that just someone else? Well, the Queen of Maggots did say that I would have no problem. No trouble finding the people they would... Didn't she say they would come to me, basically? And so far, that has been very, very true. Whoa. Wait a minute, what the hell? Wait, what? Um... Okay, this obviously is not the real world. It's locked. Walls of skulls. 
perfectly normal. What? What scared her? I didn't even see anything. Oh! I can't get out. It seems I'm trapped in my own living room. Well, it's not really my apartment. I hope it isn't. Let's push it. I don't think I'm strong enough to break through this wall. Oh, well, music certainly got exciting. Sounds like I'm about to die. It's getting small. Can I push it? No. Rag. What's that? There's a knife underneath. Good. Knives have been quite useful lately. Strange. The back of the mirror seems loose. Could there be a secret compartment behind it? My fingers are too thick. I need something sharp to lodge it. Okay. Or loosen it. Yeah. Wait, what do you... Wait, I just... Am I gonna stab myself? What the hell? What the fuck was that? I'm sorry, do that again. I don't even know. Ah, there was something hidden there. A key and what is that? A lever? All right, uh, wait, did I pick up the lever? Or no, a lever that I can push, right? Yeah, pull lever. Okay, let's do it. Interesting, the lever triggers the skulls to come off of the mace. Okay. I'll take it. Oh, it's the one I never got to use. Cool. Bust through the wall with it, I guess? actually worked. Can I do the same on this wall? Hmm. It's locked. Well, I have a key. Whoa. I'm back here. Oh, do I have to blow out another candle? See, here's an interesting thing. It seems kind of like... I, I can't remember the past times I've been here. If in the past, every time I've come here has been right after I died. Maybe it has, I'm not sure. But... It kind of seems like what I'm doing is taking other people's lives to restore my own. It's like I'm sucking their life force and using it to take me back to life. But the thing is, I've died multiple times and have not come here. Like with the murdering animal eating couple, for example. Like, I died there and I don't think I came back here, did I? I don't remember coming back here. I don't think so. So it doesn't seem like every time I die, I come back here. Alright, let's take another life. Great. Well, that solved all of my issues, I guess. Actually, nothing seems to have changed. What the fuck? Yeah, I'll come back there later. Goodbye.
Hmm. Alright, this is probably not the right combination, but... No, I didn't think so. Hold on, let me check something. Nope, I didn't think so. I, I wrote something down when when Susan was showing Mitzi the map that she had drawn of the apartment. There were some numbers written on the bottom of it. And I wrote both of them down just in case they were relevant, which they're probably not. They're probably just random scribblings, but yeah, I just used them and no, they're not the answer. Which is not surprising, because that wouldn't make any sense, unless for some reason you can view the map again. Because otherwise, you'd be totally screwed. You know what, I think I need to face my fears. But before doing that, I'm going to save. Alright, what in the seven hells is that? What is this thing? I think the worst thing about it is that it looks a bit like me. Hold on. What the hell? My mirror reflection. Look at my mirror reflection. It's me, but in a... a like a hospital gown. Fucking terrifying. Can I kill it? Can I stab it? What what the hell was that? It didn't work. <laughs> okay. junk. I can't see anything useful there. Just old parts of boats and empty barrels. It's hard to tell from the distance, but it looks completely abandoned. It would probably just fall apart if I got in. It's so old and rotten through. Wait a minute, hold on. That's a three cut out of the net. Look at that. What the? Okay, I'm gonna write that down. Okay, so are they hidden in the environment? Are they in the clouds, the numbers? And that's an eight. <laughs> huh. Interesting. And that's a. Wait, is that a. Wait, what is that? Is that a four or a seven? I, I'm confused. It could just be highly stylized. I'll write both down. There we go, there we go, okay. Interesting contraption. This is starting to feel like mist. I can't understand most of it. That's all technical stuff. Wait, what's this? Minimum passenger handling capacity, two. How bizarre. Two. Wait, minimum handling capacity. As in you need two people? Not, not max, but minimum? Minimum. 
An elevator. Would it take me under the surface of the sea? It doesn't look very safe, but it might be the only way out of here. There's no power. It must be activated somewhere else. Maybe that building at the bottom of the pier? Alright, and it needs two people, apparently. Right, well. I should have the padlock code at this point. Okay, 384 or 387. Nope. Alright, 384. There we go, okay. There's... Also, we're actually, wait, she's not even a reflection. She's not even moving with me. Better save it again. I'm getting paranoid with saves now. Panel. There's a small hole on the side of the panel. I guess I need some kind of lever to operate it. Yeah, the lever's missing. Well, there was a lever back, back. Could I get it? Maybe I can take it with me. Yeah, alright. I need a lever for these. Whoops. I've seen this machine before. When I first visited this wicked world of the dead. Back then, it was my blood that turned it on. Yep, I remember that. It looks a bit different than the others. Oh, there's a lever there. Hmm. There's a noise coming from above, but I can't see what's making it. That sounded horrible. I think I'm going to take you. Alright, let's try activating the first one. Okay, I think I'm going to smash a shadow copy of myself, I guess. Oh. Huh. Interesting. Does it release as soon as I take the lever? Yes, it does. So I'm trying to find a way to kill myself, basically. Interesting. How would I go about doing that? Um. I need more than one lever, don't I? Hold on, let's see if I can go back. No, the lever in there that I activated, I, I can't touch. There's nothing in here, right? It's locked. Oh, it's locked again, okay. Well, hold on, there's this... There's this stabbing motion that I can make. But I don't have to use on an item directly. Or something in the environment. So. Is there something I could stab? Hmm. I don't know. But. I'll figure it out for the next episode. So, I hope you have enjoyed so far, and I will be back soon with more horrible, incredibly disturbing creepiness.